I can't talk now. You just find that damn bird statue. Hey, good morning, honey. Who was that on the phone? Oh, just somebody who wants something I can't give them. <laughs> Phone solicitors, huh? You know, they're just as bad as those telemarketers. You know, the next time somebody asks me to switch my long-distance carrier, I'm going to give them a piece of my... my I, you know, I'm going to... Hello? Uh, hello? I'm calling, um, about order woman of house just pays. She want one order egg roll or two order egg roll. Honey, did you order takeout from a Chinese restaurant? No. <laughs> now, there's something fishy about this call, and it's not the garlic shrimp. Excuse me, sir. Uh, which Chinese restaurant are you calling from? Oh, me go now. The guy said he was from a Chinese restaurant, but it sounded like someone with a fake Chinese accent. And a bad one at that. Maybe it was just one of the kids that you coached pulling a prank. No, it was definitely a man's voice. You know, I'm going to star 69 and find out where the call came from and see who answers. TC, just... Just let it go, honey. If it wasn't one of the kids pulling a prank, then it must have been someone dialing a wrong number. And either way, we've got more important things to do with our time than waste time and money playing amateur detective. <laughs> All right, baby, you're right. I won't, but... If they call again, I'm going to be... I got it. Hey, PC. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Sam. How are you? Just the man we need to see to help us solve this mystery. TC, I thought we agreed to uh, just forget about the phone call. Sweetheart, the mystery I'm talking about is the missing bird statue. Now, maybe Harmony's top cop can help us find it. I'm sure that Sam has much better things to do with his well, time. After the way you helped me protect Grace from Ivy's poison, <laughs> I'll be glad to help my friends any way I can. Okay, here's a story. Now, I know this sounds silly, but Simone had this puzzle box that was in the shape of a bird statue. Now it's missing. Now, Eve and I want to find it, open it, and see what's inside. Uh-huh. Yeah, Sam, I told you that it's, that it's silly. But I worked on this thing for so long, I'm convinced there's something inside. Like what? I don't know what, but that's what's got my curiosity piqued. I mean, one minute it was here, the next minute it disappeared. I got it. Okay. Maybe the bird statue flew away. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't forget your date. <laughs> okay? Uh, listen, Sam, just give me some police information on where I could find something that's been missing. Well, first, we got to find the owner. You guys uh, spoke to Simone? Yeah, we did. Um, I called her last night, but her cell phone was turned off. She's probably on the slopes by now. Okay, well, we'll call her later. So have you searched this place from top to bottom? <clears throat> As a matter of fact, Inspector, we did, and I did find some uh, money in the seat cushions. Uh -huh. That was about it. Coffee? coffee? Yes. Okay. I'll make the coffee. No, you I'll make No, no, no. Well, the mystery of the bird statue is solved. I called Simone. She threw it in the trash, and the trash has been picked up. Well, I'm surprised she tossed that. She was more determined to get inside of that thing. I mean, she even had me interested. And you too, Eve. You were more determined. Well, I just hate loose ends, TC. Me too. But you know what? I got some time, and I'm going to run by the dump and find that bird statue. Yeah, it's a while before our brunch with Grace. I'll tag along with you. Let's go. No! You can't go! Why, honey? Why won't you let Sam and me go to the dump and find the bird statue? Well, I think it's just time that we just let it go, TC. I mean, the bird statue means nothing to you or to me or to Simone, because if it did, she wouldn't have thrown it out. And besides, I mean, two respected men like you and Sam picking through the trash at the town dump, it's just so unseemly. My wife is always worried about appearances. Grace, too. I guess it's just a moment. All right, honey, you're right, okay? Because when someone is as perfect as you, I guess appearances do matter. Sweetheart, you win. We won't go to the dump. Sammy, basketball, outside. You still owe me that 20 from last time. Remember that. Heard from Ivy since the coat room incident? No. Thank God. <laughs> Hoping she finally got the message that I don't want anything more to do with it. I hear you. You know, Ivy's not a crane by birth. 
I think living with them has warped her into thinking she can do whatever she wants. You know, it's like a madness. I mean, the cranes become obsessed with something and will do whatever it takes for them to get it. I guess it finally dawned on Ivy that I am something that she's never going to have. That I love Grace, and Grace only. The further my family stays away from the cranes, the happier I am. I'm so glad that Julian Crane never got his hooks into my family. Sure you want to go to the dump, TC? Come on, let's go. Might get lucky and find the bird perched in plain view. Well, I'm going to go with you. Make sure your spotless reputation as Harmony's number one sports coach doesn't get soiled. <laughs> Sam, I didn't know you were in the trash talk. Don't give up your day job either, TC. There's nothing I wouldn't do for my wife. I couldn't find a better, more perfect wife. 